with shopping, do you convert prices to several currencies before finalizing your decision? Or during the Olympics, do you find yourself rooting for multiple countries in addition to your own? Or is your answer to where are you from more of a lengthy description rather than a single location? If you answer yes to any of these questions, chances are you're a third culture kid. According to sociologist David C. Pollock, a, a third culture kid is a person who has spent a significant part of their developmental years outside their parents' culture. As a third culture kid, you'll experience a far richer and more cultured life than living in your own culture Be for the following reasons. One, your friendships stre stretch across the globe. Two, you have a global perspective which places you with an advantage in any career path. And three, rare opportunities are at your disposal. Well, many reasons, well, there are many reasons why I feel why being a third culture kid is grand. The main concept of being one means one terrifying thing, moving. While the thought of leaving your beloved life for a new one may be scary, it provides you the opportunity to meet a variety of people and build friendships that'll stay with you wherever you go. I'm not gonna lie, when I moved to, when I first moved to AES, it seemed that there was not a single possibility of a single positive outcome from the massive change. I spent my first week of school longing to be back in my London home with the friends that I knew, not the students here. But before I knew it, weeks had passed a million times faster than those first few days without notice. By moving past my grudges, I realized I quite liked the students of AES and I had already become close to several. Moving is usually associated with a negative connotation and its positive side is often overlooked. Moving doesn't just mean ending, it also means starting, which has unlimited possibilities such as making new friends. Additionally, as a third culture kid, you are frequently exposed to multiple cultures, and over time, you have developing a global perspective, which will help you in any career. In, a, in nearly every job, teacher or nurse, you work with ideas and people from all over the world. By already having formed a global perspective as a kid, your knowledge will aid you in any career you choose. Not to mention, it'll make you more informed as a global citizen. Finally, as a third culture kid, you attend schools with opportunities just as diverse as the students. Do I really need to state evidence? Sport tournaments, uh, sports tournaments will take you across the Middle East, whether in Mumbai or Dubai. If you're more interested in arts, you could be leaving to a music festival in Chennai. Or are you more interested in academic? You could be going on an NUN trip to Thailand or Taiwan. These are only a few of the opportunities of one of the schools you'll attend as a third culture kid. So in summary, not, as a third culture kid, not only will you have friends literally everywhere, but you'll have a global perspective and access to rare, op rare international opportunities. But what's the point? Why am I telling you this speech? Why am I telling you things that you probably more or less agree with? I hope that next time you're longing to be elsewhere or are plagued with yet another move and are wishing you could be in somebody else's shoes. I hope you remember my speech and you remember that nothing compares to your truly incredible life. Thank you.